Yeah, I can only see a certain part. Oh, I see myself up there. What's up, boy? Hey, yeah, hey, you up hey. there? <laughs> Dang, uh, it's, I mean, it's, it's hella quick too. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, I got a little. Um, I don't know how to get my face. Like my face is in here, but it's just like I could probably. What kind uh, of camera you got? I got a little Sony. Man, turn your camera, boy. What you doing? Let me see. I got you, bro. Hold up. I got you. All for you, damn. All for you, bro. Hold up. Appreciate it, man. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, you got a little, you got a nice little yeah. setup over here. Ooh, okay. Hey, what's up, my boy? How you doing? What's up, man? Where you from, bro? I'm from Texas. I mean, I, well, I'm Cuban. You know what I'm saying? I uh, born and raised, but um, I'm in Texas right now. Houston. Oh, okay. So yeah. you, fr so born and raised there. Mm -hmm. So how'd you get into music? Man, honestly, I got I got into my high school year, bro. I was like, you know, I, I mean, deep down, I was wanting to be a singer and shit. You know, like as a kid. But I never really thought I could do that shit, you know. But I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna do it. And I mean, I'm not gonna die. I'm not gonna lie, bro. I dropped out like my senior year, but I was like, I wanna do this shit, you know. I like, I, I think I could do it. And I pushed for it. And I mean, I'm really proud of what I am. Like, I, I really don't, can't forget about like where I've been because I definitely got this shit, but this shit, hard work, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I ain't just get this shit in one day. Okay, sure. wait a minute. Okay, so, okay, so. You started in high school. Yeah. And you dropped out senior year. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, that was like mid mid COVID stuff. Yeah. Oh, during okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So wait, how old are you? I'm 20 right now. Yeah. 20. All right. Mm -hmm. So, um, what's your family situation like? Do you stay with your family or like? Yeah, yeah. I'm still with family. Yeah. Okay. So, um, what type of like parents do you have? I mean. Oh, that's a tough question. I mean, they for sure love me. Like, I still have a really good relationship with my parents because, I mean, of course, I'm I'm still in their house and I'm still living here. But I definitely, like, they support me, but they ain't really, like, um, like, I don't really let them see everything I do. Like, they'll be like, all right, we'll, we'll help you out here and there. Like, I definitely, like, shout out to my parents, bro. They helped me out. Like, they definitely helped me out, like, split stuff and my equipment. Shout out to my parents, bro. I'm not the motherfucker who would be like, oh, no, I did this shit on myself. No, bro. My parents helped me out. That's for sure. All this shit. Bro, most of this shit is like my parents' stuff, and they definitely love them, help me. Yeah, bro, yeah. And I mean, I put my own money and shit, and I was like, yo, I have a plan. I mean, I, I, I just asked them, and they gave my shit, but I was like, yo, I have this idea. I want to really pursue this. And they were like, all right, we'll give it a shot. So you, okay, so you went and told them, like, look, this is what I want to do, <clears throat> and they got behind it. Yeah, yeah, for sure. That, that's I mean, they, they, they ain't really, like, looking what I'm doing. Like, they don't really hear the music. I mean, I show my mom my music, but... My dad didn't really like too involded, but he for what sure. Did, just what do your me. parents do? Uh, my mom works at a, a factory. She like a, a quality control, and my dad is a trucker. Okay. Yeah. Dope. You have siblings? Yeah, I got a little brother and a little sister. That so right behind me. Oldest? In the other room. Yeah, yeah, I'm the oldest. Yeah. Okay. So is that your room room? Yeah, it's my room. Like, okay, so like I don't got a bed in here. I got a futon. You know, I got to sacrifice shit because it, it wasn't all thing. like that. You know, I, I had a lot. I was like, yo, I really want this. Like, so I had to like, you know, sacrifice it for sure to definitely get where I am. Man, when I was in the 11th grade um, and I, I had my, my cousin bought my drum machine and so I used to just make beats on my on my headphones. And then I got these little speakers and stuff, but I didn't have a <laughs> table. So we had this bookshelf, like this old ugly brown bookshelf, like those tall bookshelves. And I <laughs> laid it on the side and that was my table. So like oh I had shit! A, okay. A side, you, just, like, you just you just laid it on the side. I just laid it on the side, yeah. and that was my little studio desk for a long time. You know what I'm saying? Right. And so, but it was weird because it was so low, and I had to like bend over to make beats all the time. But like, but then I also had a futon. So then mm -hmm. I, my my grandma went to buy me a bed, and I was like, nah, I want to get a futon so I can. And I never laid my futon all the way out. Like I slept with it upright, like a couch. Like that was. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Just so I had I room because the studio section of my room was my priority. Okay. So you got the pretty much the same setup. You like the yeah, modern basically. day version of that right now. Basically, basically, yeah. Ooh, dope, dope. Okay, so yeah. you got you a compressor and a preamp. Yeah. 1073 and going to 1176. A little combo, you know, for vocals. Yeah, I'm already knowing. Yeah, all right, come on, boy. Yeah. No. Man, man, hey, man. I got like, I got a little shoulder just in case because I, I do got people come over and record. So I got to have like a bright mic, you know, just for that pop sound. And then SM7B for like people who have like that dark voice. So what's your prices? Uh, For mixing and mastering, I do them together. I do $100, which is pretty cheap, honestly. And I, and I do everything. Stop offering mastering, please. 
You know, you think, yeah, I mean, I, I get it. If you're going to be in a mix engineer, you're going to be just that. And a master engineer is definitely a whole different person. He know how to do his own thing. So you charge a hundred dollars for mixes for who rappers yeah. in Texas or online? Yeah, yeah. Or no, just online. Like I, I do online and just in general. But I definitely want to raise my prices because I had to talk with another guy who's kind of like my mentor. Not really a mentor, but he's a really good friend of mine. He's like, "Yo, you're providing like really good quality, bro. You need to like charge him more because like you're you're really putting like four or five days into a project. And I'm only getting paid like a hundred dollars. You know, that's like." A, a few dollars an, an hour and I'm working for like you four days. Are you mixing in Pro Tools? Yeah, yeah, I'm mixing Pro Tools and everything. And you, well, well, I know you're paying for some type of plug-in subscription. Yeah, I got, I got UAD shit. I run pretty much all the standard shit you would run in a studio. Like I got, and I mean, I got the hard right now. $100 for your mixes. Yeah, I mean, I was telling him like, yo, I'm just really doing it for the, you know, people that can't get that quality because it's a bad name for engineers. I don't want to hear that. Yeah, I know. And he, he was like, no, bro, fuck that shit. He was the same, same shit you just said. He was like, fuck that, bro. Your shit is good. You need to put that Look, shit first out. first of all, I don't even care what that man's saying because if he came up here, he probably doing something wrong too. But he right in what he's saying to you. He's right. He's right. But and, and the cold part is that I know you know this, but y'all find, find these rationalizations and justifications for why you should do something that you know you shouldn't be doing. And, 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 and we do it out of insecurity. All of us. I've done it. We, we've all done it. I've done recording sessions for $30 an hour. You know what I'm saying? And we do it because we're insecure, bro. Like, you know, music is one of the most vulnerable. Um, music brings the, the most vulnerability out of men. Like, for, oh, that's sure. Not for sure. You know, and so we, we base our prices on our, inse our own insecurities. You know what I'm saying? And our, our lack of confidence and our sense of validation, you know. But while you're doing all of that, which is fine, y'all are destroying the value of the art. You strong, you're destroying the value of the art, bro. Like, so if you charge $100 for a mix, and then what happens if one of those rappers that you did a $100 mix for go and get a record deal, right? And then this rapper get a $750,000 recording budget. Mm -hmm. Right, he get a seven hundred fifty thousand dollar recording budget to do an album, and then he call you in to come be his engineer, right? Okay. Cause yo, yo, bro, you looked out for me, man. Yo, Ruben, you looked out for me, man. You, you, you did a hundred dollar mixes for me, bro. I got a, I got a deal now. I got seven hundred fifty thousand dollar recording budget. What's a big studio in your neighborhood? Uh, I mean, I looked at the studios and really like a big, big studio. But I mean, the closest one's like AR recording. Okay. So yeah. say say if say, yeah, if, just, say if say if a rapper like hey bro hey man we got a lockout at AR recording for the next three months I'm working on my album bro I want you to come Ruben and I want you to be my uh, engineer for the whole project. So uh, but you know so we got a budget bro like how much you gonna charge me for the whole three months? Um so, okay okay that's that's a for sure that like, I'll have to no it's me bro what you mean for sure okay me, okay bro. okay okay What's okay up? fuck. Um, three months, bro. Like, yeah, three months, bro. I, I 20K, made it, baby. Bro. I made 20, it because yeah. of you, Ruben. Twenty thirty k, bro. Ruben, Ruben because of you, bro. I made it, bro. I made it. <laughs> I made it, bro. I got signed, bro. <laughs> bro I, I need you, Ruben. Look, bro. I need you. Look, bro. We we in the studio, bro. We in the studio. We got a, We got everything. Pull up, bro. I want you to engineer. Just let me know what you want. I get the label. Send me an invoice. I get the label to send you a check, bro. But you just let me. I need to know. I need to tell him how much you are gonna charge me for. You know what I'm saying? Because you looked out for me, hundred dollars a mix, bro. Okay, I mean, either it's gonna be cash, or like you want to pay me, or you, I'm gonna get a percentage off that. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Of the of the actual so want, songs. Okay, so let me. Yeah. I'm gonna write this down because I gotta send it to my manager. So you okay, say, okay. So I mean, I have a manager too, but you know, I, I would definitely let them talk about that. Okay, with but no, it's me and you, baby. We we, we you charged me hundred dollars without the manager, bro. I made it. So what's <laughs> up, bro? Hey, what's up, bro? Seven hundred fifty thousand dollar budget, bro. I need you for three months. So I, like, what, what? How much you charging me, bro? Uh, I mean. Twenty forty. I mean, I, I really don't. Hour? Oh, no, no, no. I mean, like, oh, like, oh, like I'm saying, oh. like, uh, for for the whole three months, let's just do like twenty to forty thousand. Know hey, know he saying? said he said twenty to forty dollars an hour for the whole three months. Nah, that was crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Hey, I told you he cool, bro. So I'm a, I'm a. We gonna get him set up. And you said you said for sure, right? My manager. He said twenty forty an hour. You know what? Yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, you got it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, bet. Oh, yeah. All right. So he said 24. How many hours? So we're going to probably need you like eight hours a day. Is that cool? Yeah, 
Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, we'll do so, that. So he said yes on 20 an hour. So basically he said 20 an hour, eight hours a day. So that's 160 a day, five days a week. So 160 times five is 15, 30, 45, 60, 75 times 60 is $810 a week. All right, so cool. We're going to get you $810 a week, which is 8, 16, 24, 32. So uh, we're going to get you uh, 30, about thirty two fifty a month. Yeah. So we got you thirty two fifty a month for three months. So that's like three six nine. Um three six nine. So we're gonna get you we're gonna get you ten thousand for the whole three months. That's cool. Yeah, I don't really know. I mean we could we, we could probably do a little more on that for sure. Yeah, he said yeah, he said it's cool. He said, Yeah, just send an invoice. Um so send your invoice for ten K over to my manager because we gonna we gonna get you uh we're gonna get you the uh the first part of that. We're gonna get you the twenty five hundred up front. How about we do this? Like first month, we'll do that exact same, um, you know, same deal. And if we if we're really doing a good job, we'll we'll definitely you know get the price up for hold the on, last two on, months. Hold on, hold that on. Is that a better deal? Hold on, he's talking crazy. I'm listen. What'd you say? Hold on, my manager. Yeah, he he talking nonsense. But hold on, I'm gonna listen. What'd you say, bro? You said you said the first month what? First month, you can keep that same deal you said. You said you're gonna pay me for that. Keep that exact same price. The last two months, if if everything's going really well and you're, you're fucking with me and you, you think you, you know what I'm saying, you it's, really want to do this. It's going to go well. I'm telling you, it's going to yeah, go well. It. All right, bro, well. for sure. Let's do double double that, which you just double, you know, what you just told me, double that for the last two months. Huh? You say? Yeah, you heard that? I don't know what he's talking about now. But so I thought you said, I thought you said it was cool on the 20, bro. Hey, man, you got you got an advance. I mean, I got you. I mean, we all got to make money. I got to do it. No, no, I ain't minutes. pocket watching, bro. Like, I got to feed my family. You know how it is. Come on. Okay, but you, okay. I'm going to call you back. This nigga tripping. All right. Yeah, huh? All right, yeah. Hey, hey get um, get Zach, Zach on the line. All right, all right, bet. I'm going to talk to him. I'm going to get him down to 20. All right, bet. Yep. All right, what you were saying? You said. I mean, I was saying we could try to, like, double the, the last two months. And you know, so what you want twenty? Yeah, let's do twenty. Uh, nah, uh, are you out of there, bro? I'm cool. Nah, nah, nah. I mean, look, look, shit. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you something for real. You know, the top engineers in LA that get hired by labels is not even getting. They they barely getting fifty an hour. Fifty an hour. That's crazy. Yeah, I'm telling you, they they barely getting fifty an hour, and they signing contracts for eight hour days, and they doing fourteen hour days. You know what I'm saying? So you, you got to understand the landscape of this stuff, bro. So you can't, you can't, the, this is the, the, the biggest mistake y'all make. Y'all set stupid prices in the beginning and then you think you're going to hike them up at some point. No? Okay, so once you start hiking them up, I'm just going to go to the next person like you that ain't going to hike them up. You feel what I'm okay. saying? I feel you. So, like, what you do now will affect not just you in the future, but it affects all of us. Like y'all, like people like you are affecting my my homies in LA. The industry, basically. Yeah, yeah. they they yeah. affected my homies in, in LA, and and y'all don't understand that like everything that everyone does in the music community affects everyone. But y'all be sitting on these little islands in the middle of nowhere, thinking that you're not hurting nobody by doing crazy shit on the internet, and you are. So now, while you are taking money from us and devaluing the community, when it comes back to where the opportunity comes to you, there's not going to be any value to put into you either. And it's going to be partly your fault. Yeah. No, so I see that. I see. It, so I see look, the crazy part is, is there's nothing wrong with that, right? But the problem comes when y'all start dropping out of school for this shit. Mm -hmm. Y'all start selling y'all lies for this shit. Y'all start breaking up y with y'all girls for this shit. Y'all start quitting y'all jobs for this. Y'all start fighting with your family. Y'all start going into debt. Y'all start going to these music schools and not going to college. And then, worst of all, y'all start moving to L.A. over this shit. That's when it becomes a problem. Okay. It, starts to become, it starts to become a problem when you take away from another part of your life to give to music. If you're just doing it recreationally and something falls in your lap, that's cool. But when you start taking to give, that's when it becomes a problem because you don't get that time back, bro. So my that's man, Jafet, that was in, the, in, in Florida, right? He's 15. 
He only gonna be 15 one time in his life. So if he say, yo, my main focus is music, bro, I, I'm like, that's my focus. So what happened when you 18? When you 18 and you still pushing towards this music stuff and then you missed your chance to get into college for free. You missed your chance to, to get into college the traditional way. And then let's say you realize by the time you're 19, that music ain't going to work. So now you got to go to a community college and now you got to go get a job. And, and, and it's just y'all got to realize that y'all don't get the time that y'all invest into this shit back, bro. You don't get this time. back, uh, right? That's for sure, bro. But fuck all of that. You, bro, you special, dog. I ain't even heard your music, but I'm telling you, you're special because you you smart. You got a good head on your shoulders and you passionate. And I can tell you creative. And you got your fucking family support, bro. Appreciate you, bro. I appreciate you. No, nah, no, I don't appreciate me. Don't appreciate me. <laughs> I ain't even did nothing. No, no, no. You for sure. sure. I mean, like, I haven't really done, like, like a deal or anything. Like, I, again, like, I'm still going as I go. You know, I'm still learning. I know. Like, that's why I'm talking to you. Connection. Everybody hit the like button. Everybody stop. Hit the like button real quick. Put y'all questions in the chat. Hit the like button. 